can you please talk to us about your career up to this point? So when did you, you get your big break and, you know, what have you been up to up to this point now? Because I'm right in thinking you, you sort of made your name initially as a, as a songwriter and a producer. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. Um, I started out back in 2013, maybe. Just like that's when I got acquainted with the industry and starting out, my aim was being an artist and I wrote a lot of songs for myself. But somehow along the way, I just kind of stumbled into songwriting for others when someone tried a song that I decided not to release. and. I just felt that magic of someone else like taking your words and interpreting them and making them their own story somehow. And I kind of fell in love with songwriting as much as the artistry side of it. So yeah, after that, I just kept on writing songs for others because I feel like I had so many stories that I didn't necessarily want to tell myself, you know, but just some great ideas that were better suited for someone else, I guess. Um, So yeah, I've been doing that for a few years now and it was a great way to kind of find my way in the industry as well and connect with people. I think it's, it's been easier establishing a career as a songwriter than an artist because, you know, it's, um, the competition is insane for, for artists as songwriters as, as well, of course, but yeah, for me, it was easier to kind of find people to work with. Um, and uh, yeah, so I've been doing that. And then when I felt like I was ready and I felt like I had found my voice as an artist, I started releasing my own songs in 2018. Um, so for a bit over two years now, I've been releasing songs. And it's, I, I think, the most personal songs that I couldn't give away, you know. We, you've almost got the best of both worlds, haven't you? Because you've got the the songwriting side of things, which, as you've just said there, how much you enjoy. You're able to to present yourself as an artist as well, which obviously is, is fantastic. Can you can you talk about some of the artists that you have written songs for, especially some of those that have been involved in Melody Festival? And because I suppose the one that stands out for everybody listening to this will be obviously you, you played a part writing uh, the Mamas song last year. Yes, that's true, and it was the first time actually for me competing uh, as a songwriter so that journey was insane uh, because I didn't really know what to expect I I had been there doing backup vocals for other artists but I have I've I've never competed before so that was insane and uh, yeah so I we did that song and it it went okay Um, Did you know just how successful that song would be? I appreciate everyone must ask that question and presumably the answer is is no, you didn't realise how big it would be. It's a tricky question because, I mean, in the room while we wrote that song, there was this weird special magic that made us kind of like, oh, wait there's something like this this could actually be something but that was even like that was before the mamas even heard the song so it was a long shot but me and melanie and herman we have this thing where we kind of when we really believe in something we kind of throw it it, it out in the universe and we kind of did that gesture and then we just sent the song and they loved the track Uh, and then when we met them to record like it all just like came together so perfectly. So it was like another step where it was like magic. And then we went to the semifinals and the magic appeared again, you know, and it was all the way it was just like, it just felt like it was, it was meant to be somehow. Um, so I, I kind of believed that the song could actually win from the beginning, but of course you never know, you never know. Cause you know, yeah, it's so unpredictable. Was it always going to be the Mamas? Was the song written for them specifically? Or yes. it was, it was always going to be them. It was because we heard through, um, yeah, through the grapevine that they were like, that, that the show were interested in them competing. So that's when we were like, oh, we need to try to write something for them. Um, and that's the only song that we sent in. So, I mean, I'm just happy it it all went so well. But yeah, we definitely felt like we wanted to tailor make a song for them. 
How much of a roller coaster have you been on? Because of course, from the high of, of winning Melody Festival and as a, as a songwriter last year to your song not going to Eurovision, unfortunately, because of the cancellation, and now mm -hmm. to coming back yourself as an artist. That's that's quite a 12 months for you. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely been like two historic years uh, to be a part of so far. Um, but yeah, it was, it was weird trying to do it, adjust, you know, from that high when we won to like, oh, is it going to be a Eurovision or, and then the decision came. And at that time we understood, like it was kind of expected because it didn't feel like a good idea to like gather a whole Europe in one place at that time. So, but it was of course very sad. And I know that the girls would have loved doing it and I think the act would have been amazing because I know some of the plans they were like planning to to level up um so of course it was a bit of an anti-climax to kind of not get to do it but yeah now it's been compensated with this like with this whole journey they're taking me on as an artist which uh, I did not expect uh, I was hoping for it, but yeah, it's been crazy so far. And it's it's a whole new, like I've, I've only watched it from the sidelines before. And I think that's been like, like very, like I've learned a lot from that, but it's a whole nother journey now as an artist and all the preparations and everything you have to do. Like it's, but it's exciting. At what point did you find out that you were going to be an artist in this year's edition. I was listening to your song Prosecco just before uh, before chatting to you. And yeah, at, at what point did you what point did you find out that you know it was actually going to be you on the stage rather than you as a songwriter this time around? Uh, that was in uh, October, um, and I sent the song in with me as an artist. So I think that for me that was the only option. Like with this song. It's so personal to me and it it's so much of, of my sound in the song. So I, I don't know if I would have like given the song away. I think I would have released it regardless because I love it so much. But um, yeah, so it was always like, there was no question like if the song's going to be in there, who's going to do it? Like I always knew it, it would be me. But yeah, I did not expect because I'm still pretty unestablished as an artist so i had no expectations and i was just thrilled that they loved the song and that they believed in me that much that they wanted me to do it myself the song is is of course called tears run dry which yes sounds like it's going to be a very emotional song it's going to be emotive and it's going to be it's going to be deep um yeah it's gonna be deep. It's gonna be like I, what I do is kind of emotional pop, you know. Like I'm always gonna come back to that. So, um, so it's definitely gonna be emotional, but there's still a sense of hope and relief in the song. So it's not all depressing like some of my songs. <laughs> uh, it's still like it has a good vibe, and you can still kind of dance to it a little bit so uh, I for me I think it's the perfect mix for this competition and for what I want to represent in this competition so we'll see it's it's understandable that this year what we're getting a lot of and I, I'm interested to see what you think about this as, as both an artist and as a songwriter we're seeing a lot of songs trying to get to Eurovision this year across all countries whether it be you know the Scandinavian countries we've seen a few in Norway now um well there's a lot of 80s synth pop sounds which you know that the, the kind of the 80s feel that we've had a lot of recently uh, in the charts do you think that's going to be something we're going to see a lot of in Melody Festival in this year I'm just trying to think of like who's competing yeah maybe actually um maybe somebody like Eric Sada or somebody like that potentially yeah might be like um it's definitely a, a style that he could pull off so if that's what he feels like doing i think i could see that happening um but no, it's, we, that, that's not I what we're gonna get from your song <laughs> not all uh, but i know out of if i know them correctly with the, the production they've put in a, a good mix you know so i think they're 
I'm sure there will be that kind of songs, but there's always going to be like a big spread of different genres and because they're good at like matching stuff like that too. So, yeah. So where 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 does yours fit in what we can I know you can't tell us exactly what we're going to hear <laughs> and what it's going to sound like, but where where does yours sit in that kind of mix? Um I don't know how to describe it without <laughs> like giving it all away. Uh, but I think that you might actually hear one instrument that could fit in that 80s vibe, but it's definitely not, it's not in that feel totally, but yeah, I, I guess I can't really, I can't really come up with a better, like, uh, description than emotional pop, you know, um, so we'll see, yeah. You've, uh, you've got a very, I mean, they're all difficult, but you've got a very difficult uh, semi-final uh, because you've got Dota, you've got uh, Anton Ewald as well, who we've spoken to for yeah. this podcast too. It's, it's just such a difficult challenge, isn't it, Melody Festival? And Because I think that's what a lot of other countries don't get quite right when it comes to their Eurovision is, you know, they don't really, they don't really understand that in Sweden, it really is the biggest artists who are there trying to represent their country. Right, yeah. For sure, like it's a big deal here. So, and it's great exposure. And um, I think nowadays it doesn't have like a stamp on the competition. Like, like it's not decided what you have to do after the competition. Like you can be any artist and still compete and fit in, you know? Um, so definitely there's some heavy names this year and the competition is fierce. I kind of wish Sometimes I was more competitive because I'm kind of also like, oh, it's going to be really dope just hearing these people do live, you know? Um, I just want to see a great show so I'm, and I'm happy to be a part of it. But of course you start like analyzing your chances and, and stuff like that. But yeah, I, I, I mean, I love daughter. Like last year she was so close, like it was one point away from us. So she really deserves the world, you know? Um, so I'm psych excited to see what she's gonna do this year. You, you've mentioned the lineup there, you know, there are some some amazing names in there and the Mamas, of course, are back again. The, the, yep. the group that you wrote for last year, what's it like now competing against them rather than being with them? Oh, I'm trying not to think think about it like that because you know I just want to like hang hang out with them like they're just like amazing people and, and I'm happy they're back because I, I feel like they have even more to show you know and uh, they kind of need they deserve something to kind of make up for not going to Eurovision as, as planned so yeah it's not like i'm going into the competition like i'm gonna beat them you know because if if they win again like i would just be happy for them yeah. you, you you've obviously got a lot of con connections and a lot of friendships with with a number of the the artists that are taking part this year have you had a chat to to anybody else who's also trying to represent sweden at eurovision this year and also part of melody festival uh not really like with this situation in the world it's it's not been usually it's a big bubble this whole melody festival and trip like there's parties and events and stuff you go to and press stuff so you meet the others and sometimes you even can't maybe hear a song before it's you know played live but now i haven't met anyone but um i'm excited to meet to um because when he won idol we wrote his winner single um so i'm excited to see what he's gonna do because now he's been on his own from the competition and he's been creating his own sound that's not a song that we gave to him that could fit you know two or three people in the finals of idol um so i'm excited to see what he wants to do with his music and also like catch up because he's just like a an awesome an awesome person as well so yeah, it's fun to kind of compete against people you've worked with before it's it's strange you know uh, but also like a big reunion so it's what, gonna be fun what what is your schedule like at the moment of course because we're getting ever closer to the competition itself but as you said things this year obviously are very very different so presumably mm -hmm. you're you're already rehearsing and you're 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 getting the stage um the stage look and feel and everything ready to go 
Well, <laughs> I wish. Um, no, like so far, it's been a lot of preparations, a lot of logistics, just like getting, you know, finding the right people. Because I'm also doing this without a label. Uh, I'm doing it independently, which means I have to fill all the gaps of people needed, uh, which has been amazing because I've like handpicked the people I want to work with and who I'm comfortable around. So it's been a lot of, of those kind of stuff and interviews, but the rehearsal starts, I haven't started rehearsing choreography yet. Like I'm singing my song every day <laughs> at home, but next week I have my first rehearsal. Um, to kind of see, yeah, to uh, rehearse all the camera angles and the, the moves and, and stuff. So I'm excited to see, because then you can really picture, now it's, it's still like too early to kind of picture how it's going to look. Um, yeah, you... but we've had a, yeah, sorry. No, no, go on. Sorry, please go on. No, we've, yeah, we've just, uh, I just came from a fitting today uh, where we kind of decided on my look and, um, the day before we had a design meeting with someone who's gonna sew a lot of stuff for other people on stage um so yeah <laughs> i like that i like that how how di how difficult is it um now that you've touched on it i think that's really interesting that you are doing it independently you're not doing it with a with a with a huge label behind you how much more of your time does that take and how much more exhausting is that for you to, to have to worry about as you've said all aspects of of the song and the staging and, and everything well i've never done it with a label so i can't really compare like i don't know how much time the others are putting in but i'm putting in a lot of time there's a lot of sleepless nights so i'll tell you that much um but I think for me, it's all worth it. Like, it's so important for me to be a part of the whole process. Because, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I have this fear of just being put in a box and, you know, being forced to work with people who I'm not comfortable working with and decisions being made above my head. Um, maybe that's a Swedish expression. No, no, that, yeah, that's, yeah, we, we say that <laughs> <Okay>. here too. <laughs> okay, good. Um, you know, so that's, and, I, and I've done it independently so far. So I, like it's, it's taken me here, but it's definitely a lot of work, but I'm a bit of a control freak maybe. So I'm, I'm kind of, kind of liking that position. So, yeah. Uh, Patrick, last last one from me. Uh, what have you got to, to say to, to our listeners who, you know, will obviously love to, to vote for your song when it comes to the, the big night and your semi-final? What, what have you got to say to our listeners? Well, I hope you enjoyed the show and I hope you feel some kind of love and also joy from watching my performance. performance. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to try to create like a beautiful universe where everyone's welcome and i i hope you guys can can feel that and uh yeah if you like it then and uh, yeah root for me 